One of the most common questions that you guys ask is, can you please walk us through your whole process? Like, how do you do the mixed media stuff? How do you finish it in oil? Okay, so I like to work on a really textured surface. So if I'm working on canvas, I'll almost always prime it with texture paste first. My favorite one is Hard Modeling Paste by Golden. Then I'll sketch in my subject with graphite and some black acrylic and start glazing right away. I don't spray it with a fixative or anything. I'm usually just like too excited that a new painting's happening. So I just dive right in. Then I'll start working in opaques. And if the title of the painting comes to me while I'm working on it, I'll just flip it right around and just write it on the back. I love the freedom that mixed media materials bring like spray paint, acrylic pens, crayons. <laughs> Something that's helped me a lot is think of the ways that your process can be symbolic of your personality. Like if you're a fast thinker and get really easily distracted, something like this process using heaps of different materials could actually really work for you. Sometimes I like to use pure 24 karat gold. Um, If you're gonna use gold leaf and if you're selling the pieces for a lot, like I do recommend that you use real gold leaf, Um, but you can just get like the cheaper stuff if you want to experiment with it. It's just a great little tool to have in your arsenal. You apply it by using a gold size first, which is the glue and then use a really soft fluffy brush to dust away the excess. I like to use a bit more of a stiff brush to do this. It creates more of an imperfectly perfect rusty sort of look, if that makes sense. And then for my signature stripes, I like to use spray paint with just some painter's tape from Bunnings, good old just <laughs> hardware store. You want something that isn't gonna lift up what you've already done, so just be a bit careful if you're gonna try that technique. This is the intuitive mark making section, my absolute favorite part of the process where I really get lost in, you know, flow state. As you can see, I didn't record most of it because again, I'm like gone when I'm in flow state. Like, you can't even talk to me. I'm just like, <laughs> this is the final stage before moving on to oil paint. So I need to make sure that it's pretty, like it's pretty solid. I know where everything is. Like there aren't going to be any drastic changes from this point. Moving on to oils. The first layer is just all transparents. My favorite mediums are alkyd resin mediums. So galkyd, liquid. I work with a classical concept in oil painting called color temperature. So anything that's warm is going to come towards you and anything that's cool is going to recede. So instead of thinking as warm colors as sunset colors, I can use warm greens, warm blues, and have like really reds and rich earthy colors in the background if they're cool in temperature. For example, this alizarin crimson is a really cool transparent red whereas ultramarine blue is really warm. I glaze for about two to three days making sure that everything is super duper juicy and then move on to opaque oils. My favorite medium is Galkid gel. It is just so so beautiful. It's like a mix between Galkid and liquid. It's just ah, stunning. Mixing up some cool complements together to create really cool greens and purples and putting that in the background to help the figure pop. And then to finish up the painting adding some really warm juicy vibrant highlights in some of the areas that need a little bit of extra tweaking and she's all done. <laughs> Feel free to ask any questions in the comments. I hope that this was really, really helpful. Mwah, love you.